Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is another Java video. So today we will be talking about SPI, which is a way in Java that you can distribute um, contracts and implementation. Um, this is particularly interesting if you're going to have more uh, than one implementation, like you have more than the default implementation. Um, in, in the case that you just have one implementation, I would say that it's too complicated. It doesn't worthwhile doing, right? So I don't think you should be doing. But um, in the cases where you have multiple implementations, definitely something you can check it out and might be cool and interesting for you guys. So um, one one thing I need to say is that Java uses this um, in several uh, user cases, like for instance, um, for the case of um, JDBC drivers, uh, it used something like this for, um, you know, JAXB, JSON parsers, uh, daytime, schoolhensies, you know, th there's several um, JDK um, use cases using it. And like I said, if you have a use case where you basically, you know, have more than one implementation for your contract, um, definitely something to be considered. Otherwise, uh, you're going to see that it's a bit complicated if you have like a standard SOA service or a standard microservice where you just have one contract, one implementation, right? So I would definitely say that um, you want to go SPI in a case where uh, you definitely expect to have more than one implementations and maybe there's one entity providing the contract and several other entities provide implementations right so um keep that in mind okay so now um let's uh jump to the poc and take a look on the code right so here uh let me first talk about structure right so i basically have um a multi-module project here in maven and I have an API and an application. So the API is actually um, the API. The application is the user who going to use that API. And the Intel is one implementation. So we could have multiple implementations. But here, I, I just have one. And then um, this project here, as you can see, is a multi-pom uh, project where, like I said, we have the API, the Intel, and the application, right? So um, let's open this on idea and take a look in all these projects and see how this works. Cool. So <clears throat> let's start with the pawn.xml. So on the pawn, like I was showing on the console right here, um, this top level pawn is just a grouping for build reasons, right? So you want to build all this stack, you just build this pawn and gonna build everything. But as you can see, there's no dependencies here. Um, then let's start uh, with the API, all right? So on the API, um, here we have a couple of things, all right? So there is a quote, there is a quote manager, there is exchange hate and exchange hate provider. So let's start with exchange, uh, quote manager, all right? So quote manager is an interface, it's like a factory interface where um, you, you, you're going to have someone to implement this more likely like a factory that's going to uh, need to implement a method get quotes where you're going to pass a currency and a locale and you're going to get a list of quotes. So this is the quote manager. And then uh, the quote is just a pojo, right, that has the quote. So it has the currency. Uh, ask a bid and a date, and then empty constructor, full constructors, getter setters, equals hash code and to a string. So, exchange ha uh, hate provider is the top, is a top factory who creates the factory of the factories, right? So, basically, this has a, a method create where you're gonna get a quote manager, and with a quote manager, you're gonna get a quote. So, you have two levels, right? So, you have one top interface that creates a classes that create interfaces, right? So it's two two levels. And um, the good thing about this is you can do all with Java. You don't need to have Spring as dependency, right? So you can be very lightweight in sense of uh, dependency management, which is cool. But then uh, let's go to the real uh, cool thing here, which is in this case is the exchange hate. So the exchange hate 
uh, here is still on the contract, right? Basically, um, I'm going to fight the full provider, right? And here you need to have a full fledge package to the full class name and one specific implementation. So here we have one implementation. Uh, and here, basically, there's a couple of methods. There's a method that can give you a default provider. And with the default provider, we're going to use this class called service loader, right? And with the service loader, we're going to be able to load uh, whoever implements uh, exchange hate provider, right? And then with this loader, we're going to have all possible implementations, right? And we are looking for one specific provider, right? Which is uh, the default provider. So we are doing a filter here. And then we just return that this default provider. Otherwise, we don't uh, find any provider. So here you're going to look for your class path because you have you might have multiple jars and that's going to be resolved at hand time at on compile time and then you can figure out which one is the one you care you like right and here um there is a method that returns all the providers right and basically loads them and adds to the list of uh, providers right so list of uh, exchange hate providers and then you just have it there all right Cool. So there's one important tricky here, which is in resources, not here, um, sorry, actually not here. Um, so this is the API, right? So the on the implementation, so here, <clears throat> yeah, here, here's where we have the tweak. So in the implementation, we just need two classes, right? So we have one to implement the quote manager which is one level, and the other one to, to implement the exchange hate provider. So it's two levels, like I said. So exchange hate provider going to create the quote manager and the quote manager going to create the quote. So for this, gla this class is pretty, pretty simple. We're just implementing um, the method create as we have on the exchange hate provider, and we just create a quote manager, right? And that's it. Very, very simple. And then here, um, here's where you would have sort of your business logic, right? Like uh, call, uh, call um, um, uh, uh, API or do any business processing here, just having hard code that you um, say um, and, and, and some fixed values for ask, for bid, and uh, I'm setting as now, right? And I could put like other quotes here, like for, for, for um, reais, uh, which is pretty bad for now, uh, or, or pesos, or any other currency here, right? But here, since it's just a very simple POC, just having one code hard coder on this, uh, hey, right? But here's the trick. Um, so you have the impel, you have the implementation. So you might be thinking, okay, there is a contract, there is the implementation, so it's all done, right? No, uh, here's where's the tricky part. Um, on the implementation jar, you need to have this meta in folder and inside of meta -inf folder you need to have a dot service folder so uh, resources meta -inf services and then there you need to have a file which has the full fledged full name of the interface so um, if we look again our exchange hate provider it implements exchange hate provider right so this interface that we are implementing here in the name of the file in meta -inf folder, it needs to be the full name of that interface here. And then inside, you need to have the full name of the implementation, which is this guy. So th this pattern is a bit weird, right? But it is what Java supports. And then on the application, right? If we go to the Pong application, you're going to see that we have um, a dependence to the API, which is our contract. And one particular implementation is just this one. We have it. And then on the app, it just works, right? Because of that, Java knows how to do the binding, right? And here, what we have is uh, we're getting all the providers and we are printing what's going on. So if I run here, you're going to see it works just fine. And there we go, all right? So SPI is a cool way to have multiple contracts and implementations. It does the binding at the runtime. The binding is not defined at the compile time. It's decoupled. It's cool if you need to have multiple implementations. So that's it for today. I hope you guys like it. See you next time. Take care. Cheers.